welcome to Willow's World of DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the leaky bull wax and install a toilet properly. Let's get to it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's water leaking at the base of this toilet and that's why we're replacing the bull wax. This is all the tools and everything that we're going to need to complete this job. All right, we're gonna start by putting on some disposable gloves. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna shut off our angle stop. If it's seized up, we're gonna use our pair of channel locks just to break it loose. Now that the water's shut off, we can go ahead and flush the toilet. Hold the lever down so that all the water drains out of the toilet tank. Now we can go ahead and remove the toilet tank lid and we can start scooping out all of our water with our bucket and our disposable cups. Now we're gonna remove the plastic caps. I'm using a flathead screwdriver to pop them off. I'm using a 7 16 socket to remove the nuts. I just place all the hardware that I remove into the plastic cups and then set it aside. Now we're gonna disconnect our water line, have our bucket in place just to catch any excess water that drips out. Now we can remove the cap and unbolt the toilet on this side. Now we can remove the toilet. I have a piece of cardboard set down on the ground just to set it on. This is what our old leaky bowl wax looks like. It's leaking along this front edge. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but this wax wasn't even compressed between the toilet and the floor. Now we're gonna run our putty knife between the bottom of the bowl wax and the top of our closet flange, just to get it free. Use the putty knife to scrape off any excess wax. and remove the old brass bolts. Now I'm just removing the old rusted out closet flange screws. And I'm installing new three and a half inch exterior wood screws into the closet flange. This closet flange is supposed to be set above the tile instead of below it like it is here. Whoever did this tile job didn't raise the closet flange on this. So we're going to have to install a double thickness bowl wax to take up that space. So that's why the toilet leaked before because they didn't uh, raise this closet flange above the tile and they didn't install a double thick bowl wax since it was below the tile. Now we can open up our new bowl wax. This is a jumbo bowl wax or a double thick bowl wax. We're gonna install our brass bolts into the closet flange. Mine has a screw underneath it, so I had to screw it down in just to get that brass bolt in. Now we're gonna install our two nylon washers onto the brass bolts to keep them held in place on the closet flange. Remove our new bull wax from the plastic and set it in place. Now we're gonna lay the toilet on its side so that we can uh, scrape off any excess wax and clean up the mating surface. This toilet tank feels loose, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. There's two bolts. They use a half inch socket. You wanna make sure you tighten these evenly just so you don't crack the porcelain. I'm just gonna wipe up the tile before I install the toilet.
Now we can install the toilet. You guys can't really see it, but I'm lining up the brass bolts through the mounting holes on the base of the toilet just to get that bull wax and closet flange lined up perfectly. Then I let it drop down on it, push it down to seat it into that wax, get it straight. Now we can install our washers and nuts to get the toilet mounted down to the closet flange. There's a uh, nylon retaining cup washers for your plastic cups that cover the bolts. It says this side up. If you can't read the this side up, then it's upside down. So install the, the plastic, install the metal washer, and then install a brass nut. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. Tighten it a little bit with the 7 16 wrench. Now we can cut the excess off the brass bolt using a pair of dikes so that our caps will fit over the top of them. And snug our bolts down with our 7 16 socket. You want to tighten these evenly so you don't crack the porcelain. So a little bit on each side until it's all the way tight. Check to make sure our toilet is tight and doesn't move anywhere. Our toilet seat is loose, so we're going to go ahead and tighten that up. Use a flathead screwdriver to pop off the plastic caps that cover up the bolts. We're using a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten down these bolts. Once you get the toilet seat bolts tight, go ahead and reinstall the plastic caps. Now we're going to reinstall the plastic caps on the toilet mounting bolts. Now we can reconnect our water line. And turn the water back on. Check for any leaks. If there are any, go ahead and tighten it up a little bit more. Now we can put our toilet tank lid back on and flush the toilet a few times so we can check for any water leaks. Everything looks good to me. I don't see any more water leaks. Oh, you guys are still here? What are you still doing here? Go hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching Willow's World DIY. Until next time.